is. Tyler is like repeating all of these narratives about how uh, I've changed for the worst. Uh, the person responsible for my uh, my change in a bad way is Anissa. Importantly, I appreciate my wife, Anissa. She has been insanely uh, compassionate and helpful and patient in uh, you know allowing me to grow over the years and has has legitimately encouraged me to be a better person and not a better person in just like the you know uh, i dubs becoming woke kind of way the the tana thing mm. was uh was my oh, that was so long ago was my idea was my stupid idea yeah. i was the one he that suggested was... like we can go to the <laughs> place it's uh, just in san francisco i'm like it is just in san francisco <laughs> yeah that drive and everything and now i think back to it i'm like i can't believe we literally harassed an 18 year old child uh at her show it's like kind of that's a I guess when you put it that way it's it not, is, that doesn't sound like it's horrendous yeah. it's horrendous it's probably like my most embarrassed like it is it's fucking yeah. embarrassing but I mean it was things that you know if I'm gonna have the balls to go to Tana's uh, fan meetup and say slurs at her and then make a video about how it's okay to say slurs I, I think I should have the balls to make an apology video. I'm also sorry to all the black viewers and minority groups who had to put up with that video and put up with, you know, the Same. phrases. I, I was morally grandstanding and acting as if I am any better than any of these people that I was making content cop videos on. I didn't say that I'm morally superior to you. Casual racism is still racism. Casual bigotry is still bigotry. And revenue uh, generated from this video, I'm going to match and donate to an organization that you know would have been particularly affected by the type of rhetoric that I've been spewing on this channel. I've profited off of this bigoted content for years and I've made a successful career out of it and that's not right. It's important to remember if you ever mistakenly identify a word as off limits. No words are off limits. You're allowed to get offended by the words and say, oh, I, I, I didn't like that very much. But for you to come at the person and say, you're a bad person for saying this. You're racist for saying this. At the end of the day, everything's a choice. Black people can choose to get offended by black slurs. Asian people can choose to get offended by Asian slurs. White people can choose to get offended by black slurs. And Tanamongu can choose to get offended by black slurs. At the end of the day, it seems like white people are really just trying to uh, make up for all of the torment that we've inflicted on black people. Well, keep at your crusade. I'm going to continue to act like they're normal human beings. I don't think anyone deserves that level of cruelty or hate. It's also indoctrinated a lot of people into thinking that this is an okay way to behave. And it's not. It's, it's super irresponsible and shitty. He was just posting Nazi shit, okay? I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how else to explain it other than he was posting Nazi shit. And I'm going to say it, honestly, I'm going to say good on them for kicking him from the fight. You shouldn't have spaces that are welcoming to Nazis. And uh, I just want to make it clear that I am absolutely responsible for my audience. And, uh, you know, I guess if you want to, you know, look out for people who are red flags, it's definitely people who had my mentality that say, uh, I'm not responsible for what my audience does. Tyler is like repeating all of these narratives about how uh, I've changed for the worst. Uh, the person responsible for my uh, my change in a bad way is Anissa. A very big thing that has sort of altered my view on all of this is just the amount of hate and harassment my wife Anissa has received over the years. I, a lot of the time, I just thought that that was that was her problem, or that was um, you know other people's problem, like. It's not my problem that you're getting hate and harassment. And it's like, no, it absolutely is. You know, that's the 
culture that I cultivated. It's like, I did it, and I found the potential hypocrisies in, in what I say in the past, and it's, it's pretty fucking consistent. The funding for the slut shirt is actually very, very low. Skanktown. Skanktown, USA. Southcore porn all over the walls. Pretty nice, huh? You know, like, I'm not saying that women should be sexualized or shouldn't be. I'm just saying that there is the market for it, so it makes sense that they would do it. I would say skank and slut, but never was that part of my argument. It's just flavor. This particular fan came up to me and said, I know you probably don't like transgender people, but can I, you know, get a picture? That smacked me in the face. I was like, oh, holy shit. Why would you think that? But I mean, it was fairly obvious. I was being cruel, hateful, bigoted, and uh, being very uncaring about people's feelings. That is a very fair assessment to make. I don't feel like a lot of this content represents me as a person, uh, at least not anymore. There was a time where it probably perfectly represented me because I was a nasty- Free milks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You guys like, you guys like weed bits? Yeah. There you go. Drink up. Right. Keep your bones healthy. Apathetic. Cop. As you can probably tell, I can hardly contain myself right now because today is the day we get to bully Leafy. Insecure. Look at that hairline. What the fuck? Dude, he's actually going fucking bald. This guy doing the classic receding hairline gag. It's a good gag, but that's not a fucking receding hairline, dude. Let me show what you what a receding hairline looks like. Yeah, there we go. Now that's a receding hairline. For person. Now, now that I don't feel like it represents me and I want to distance myself from it and keep it from, you know, indoctrinating more people. And, you know, I said a lot of things that uh, I, I look back at and I cringe now and I'm like, that is an awful thing to say. It, it doesn't matter what my intentions are. Like, oh, okay, so you basically don't have any good intentions here. Actually, no, I will give you a warning if you, I think you have good intentions. I am very insecure about my ability to create interesting content or like entertain. Uh, I'm not confident in my ability to entertain. And I think if I had to rely on my personality uh, to entertain people that I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have any amount of success. And that is uh, really hard to come to terms with. I was being very bigoted in a lot of my videos, and I justified it because, you know, I didn't think it was too serious. This award is for you. You deserve it. You're the guy who'd speak up when, when no one else would. You've taken on all comers, and for that, I, I think you deserve this award, and quite frankly, I think you deserve a lot more. You are not a social activist, nor are you a good person because you're bloviating on end about being against racism, and being for equality and spreading positivity. If you really want to be this social activist character and you really want to be known for that, then go out in the streets and march with feminists and uh, take off your shirt and write free the nipple on your chest and do shit like that. Because I'm, I feel as if that's sort of the impact you want to put out there on society. Like, you, uh, you don't get the vibe, all right? The vibe is sex workers and fighting, I guess. I was giving this person bad vibes, and I think I've given a lot of people extremely bad vibes. Seems easy, right? Empathy? I definitely have that. There were moments where like a dog would die in a, in a film and I'd cry. So it's like, of course I have empathy. Necrophilia, I'm a necrophiliac. I love dogs, I love having sex with dead dogs. 